in my 20s after a um, particularly bad breakup. I was depressed and did what lit majors do instead of listening to REM music over and over and over again. I wrote a uh, four-page completely depressing short story wherein uh, a general decides to declare war on heaven. And uh, he succeeds, but in doing so, he destroys the earth. And as the earth is uh, dying, the people scream, We are dying! And we have destroyed the hope of heaven. Now we are truly damned. As I said, I'd gone through a really bad breakup. Um, I thought of that while reading Exodus Z by Jorge. Alvarez, um, for reasons that'll become clear, uh, and I have never really done this before, but I'm going to put a spoiler alert on this video. If you're going to read Exodus Z, um, I am going to reveal a major plot point over the course of this review, so fair warning. Um, Exodus Z starts off... Midway through a zombie apocalypse. Um, And to be fair, you know, we've seen a million zombie apocalypses. um, Over the last, say, five, ten years. Um, There was a time when zombie movies, zombie stories were few and far between. And you had to wait for Romero to put out a... Uh, a new one. Um, but then they got popular. And now zombie movies and zombie stories and zombie comics are everywhere. So, it being a zombie apot, when I saw it was a zombie apot, okay, I'm on familiar ground here. I uh, can pretty pr- pretty much guess some of the, the beats that uh, this story is going to hit. This ain't my first time on the farm, or it ain't my first time in, in Paris. Um, but then, the story takes a turn that I did not predict, and could not have predicted. Um, the There's a... Um, there's a religious aspect to this zombie apocalypse... They don't go into a lot of detail, but in this uh, realm, in this story, the rapture exists. Um, So a lot of people uh, get free of the zombie apocalypse all at once by, uh, you know, ascending to heaven during the rapture. And then, as I say, something unexpected happens, which makes the story completely unique. And... That's going to get a point from me because, you know, I, I just saw this debate this week on Twitter that there are no original stories. You know, every every story has been done. You know, there's nothing new under the sun. Uh, this plot twist was new. I'd never seen this before. So the fact that I was suddenly on unfamiliar ground and had no idea where the story was going was a, no- a novelty enough for me to to get a point from from me uh for its for its writer Jorge Alvarez um I, there's not a whole lot I can, can say about um about the rest I mean I'll, I'll I'll sort of leave that up to you and and your call I wasn't super keen on the scripting you know, there, I, there, the way I see it, there's there's two 
points to uh, writing. There's more than that, but I'm going to oversimplify it to two points to writing. There's the plotting, and then there's the scripting. And the plotting is just what happens. And in terms of plotting, uh, as I say, Jorge Alvarez took me to a place I've never been before, story-wise. So, point, points there. On the scripting, which is putting the the actual words in people's mouth, I wasn't super keen on the scripting, but your your mileage may vary. Um, so, I, I'll be interested to see where the story goes. This was the first issue of an ongoing, from what I can tell. I'll be there for the second issue, just to, just to see... Where, where where exactly are we going? So, uh, the nice surprise for a Friday afternoon. This has been Tom Tuttle.